the video review for Make Toys MTRM07 visualizers, aka uh, reflector here, uh, camera, triple camera bot. Um, and you can see right here, one, if you saw in the opening credits, one of the, <laughs> I'll go right off the, off the bat and tell you, one of my favorite bits about this thing, and maybe I'm just a geek for liking it, um, it comes with a little piece that actually allows it to attach to a standard tripod. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, again, just a, it's just a little extra piece that just pops out. Uh, you don't have to put it on there, but it's just a little plastic piece with a little metal socket that you can screw on to a standard tripod, and that's pretty cool. Um, and you can see it's a camera mode. It's got a little clicky button over here. And uh, it's a little deep, deeper physically than... I hope that's not plugged in all the way. Um, than a standard camera. Like, for example, here is my, my Fuji X30. Um, so it's about the same size that way. You can see it's much thicker that way. Granted, this is a smaller camera. Um, my DSLR at home is not quite as thick as this, but you know, significantly thicker than the Fuji. So... Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's a it's, it's a little thick, but it's not without the it's not outside the realm of being able to hold it and push all the buttons or button and uh, have fun with it. But yeah, it's it's a nice little version of reflector. There's not like I said, aside from the little squishy button um, and the fact that if you want to, you can flip that up and have a secret missile launcher. Um, there's not a whole lot to do in camera mode. It does look like a very nice camera. I, I love the way they've got like some silver paint behind this green uh, plastic for the lens. Uh, there's a little viewfinder. Um, and these two, the two side bots are very similar. I think they use, they share a lot of parts um, aside from the way the lens comes up. And of course you can see this one has like a battery level and some exposures in the uh, ISO setting, whereas this side has the button and the little advance and all that. Um, now you can swap this if you'd rather have the button over here and the flash over here. Um, it's just a matter of popping these out because each one of these side bots in initially has one of those buttons. It's on the underside of their head. Um, now when you transform it back, if you want to put this back into this side bot or if that's just going to be the bot you always plug the flash into, you don't have to. But uh, they do both include a little springy button. And if you wanted to, you can pop the flash off of this side, pop the button off of this side, swap it plug it in, um, and you can reverse the camera. Now, I'd, I'd almost say you could reverse the bots, too, because, like I said, they share some parts. It looks like they could clip together, but uh, the way the uh, lens assembles might not be possible. And I say might not because I haven't... I was thinking of that as I was playing with camera mode, and it never occurred to me to see if maybe these pieces can swap to the other side. It's got all the connector points for the, these lens pieces to snap in over here. So maybe it is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. But... Uh, but yeah, there's uh, that's where those two pieces go. But yeah, it's, it's it's a nice looking camera mode. Now moving on to transformation again, you're you're gonna want to pull this off, and like I said, at this point, it's your choice if you want to reinstall this button. They come all come packaged in robot mode. Both both sides have this little button on them, and you're you know and you're supposed to pull this one out in order to attach the flash. Um. I will probably always put the flash over here on this side, so I'm I'm, I'm probably not going to stick this button back in, but uh, you can if if you if you choose to. And then once you've done that, uh, you want to before you pop the three bots apart, you want to you want to unhook the lens and you t and you uh, take that by opening up this part piece, flipping it down, unpegging this front part from there. Actually, you can, you can probably have that attached if you wanted to. Um, so pull the front piece out into this side, pull this piece out into this side, and then you can snap these apart. Because this is, like I said, this is a pretty ingenious mechanism. The whole lens assembly is built into the robots themselves. There's no separate piece for that. Like, everything you need uh, for the camera is all in the bots with the exception of the flash. Um, which does have a handle and can become a weapon. Uh, go ahead and slide this. This is just a little connector piece for the flash. You can leave it on there if you want. It looks a little, when you're holding it as a gun, it's already pretty big as a gun, but uh, it's just one little piece of detailing you can pull off if, if you wish when they're using it as a weapon in robot mode. But once that's done, uh, we'll, you can transform the robots. And these two transform very similarly, so we'll do them first. There's a little trick when getting this guy into his center mode. I didn't find it as difficult as some people have, but uh, it is there is a little... The shoulder pieces can be a little bit of a pain, uh, and I think I found a way to make that a little easier. 
So yeah, once you've got these guys, go ahead and unpeg this piece from right here. And then uh, you start up here, unpack these flaps. Pop that. You can actually push that, I, I, I didn't push that button as all the way in the way it normally sits just so I could easily remove it for the video part. That will actually stay in pretty securely uh, normally. Not pop out. Like, see, I had it popped in about there, just enough to keep it in place. But it does push all the way into that into that uh, neck piece. Um, so you flip those up, and then uh, unpeg these panels on the side. There are a lot of panels on these guys, and then uh, you can bring the legs down. I thought, the, I thought the legs were the next part. Yeah, there we go. Oh, unpeg over here too, and then bring the legs down and you, you want to get this panel out around this side piece here there you go and once you get that unlocked you can bring these down bring the legs down just kind of fold that out to the side split the legs in half like that you can go ahead and pull the ankles out they click down uh, the bottom of the feet make sure those are snapped in and then these panels uh, this panel folds up like this and folds down along the side of the of the leg like that. And same on this side, fold this panel down, fold it down. And before you close this panel up, you wanna bring this panel right here, untap it from here, rotate it around and down here, fold it in, and then this panel will fold in and then tab onto that tab just like that. And same on this side, bring this around fold it down, and then tab those panels together. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it for the legs. They've got some nice ankle tilts, range of motion back and forth. And again, if you want them to be more solid, you can click those up into place. But if you click them down, they do it does free up that ankle joint. Come back here, uh, open these purple panels up. The arms are tabbed into them, so you might want to hold on to the arms. Uh, there's a little tab here that tabs into the side of the arm. So untab them from the arms. You can bring the arms up to the side. This piece rotates around like that. I'll lift this arm up and that will allow you to fold this piece back in to the back. And then this piece actually splits, folds in here. I actually want to collapse this all the way in. It folds in like this, folds down, and then wraps around the back like this and then re reattaches on the other side. So it basically kind of turns inside out. And then that whole panel, that whole thing should collapse a little bit more than that. Hold on. Doesn't it? I thought it did. Hold on, let me unplug this. Oh, there we go, goes in that way. Hold on. one that collapsed more than that but uh close that around there like that I'm missing something here because i know that that piece doesn't stick out like that hold on Still not doing it. There we go. Turn it inside out. Get that panel back. Kind of square it up here. Oh, 
you know what? Flip his head up. That that does help. There we go. Yeah, the issue was the head. I should have pulled his head out first. I extend the arms down. Just like that, rotate the fists to their proper orientation. Oh, actually, whoops, they were, they were in their proper orientation. I rotate the whole arm. <laughs> there we go. And there is one of them in robot mode. Same thing on this side. Pop these up and snap them into place. Bring this off to the side, untab it from there. And then you want to unpeg these. And then get this piece unlocked from here. And then you can kind of bring the legs down. Like I said, this is almost exactly the same as the other side, with the exception of this uh, lens piece is slightly reversed and has the, the lens piece on it, but uh, that just folds down behind his back. Fold this piece in. Fold it up. And the ankles, legs are done. Come back here, and again, remember that. Remember these are t arms are tabbed in. It kind of helps if you pull them out a little bit with the arms attached, and then just kind of push on the arm to untab it. I rotate this piece around. Bring the arms forward. Make sure this one comes up so you can fold this piece in. Flip the head up. Go look at that. How I did that. Bring this piece around to the back, fold the, uh, fold the lens down like this, and split these pieces into the body, slide that in, wrap these around. And again, make sure to kind of square it off when you're folding it, because there's a e between each joint there's a dual hinge, and if you don't have everything squared off right, it sits crooked. So make sure that's kind of squared off on his back. And then fold the backpack around it, just like that. Much easier that time. Oh, he's got his got his head tucked under his tab there. There we go. Pull that up, and then this piece folds up onto the back. And there's a little there's a little tab right here that tabs into the slot on the back. Again, rotate his arms around and extend them. And now he's done. Now we'll set him off to the side. Now this piece, like I said, this piece is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, take the the viewfinder and collapse it like that. And the tricky part of this, uh, lift this up. Uh, unpeg this from the front right here and fold this whole piece up and then this this these little slots are going to slot or these little tabs uh, right there in the uh, you can kind of see that little ridge right there so you're going to slot those up and you have to pull them out just a little bit to get them up over the tab but that clicks up into place now the problem is these shoulder tabs the shoulders on these guys I just kind of see. I can snap one off. They're, they're floating shoulders. They just kind of snap on over the ball joint, which gives them a lot of range of motion in uh, when you're when you're playing with the toy and uh, and moving their arms around. 
but uh, when you're trying to peg this stuff in, because you can, you can see where they come in here on the back. There's two tabs on the top that peg into the that these two slots peg into, but then these two tabs on the back have to fit into a slot on the leg. And when you're already, you're already the arms are already folded back, and you're folding this up, and even this is even kind of going under this uh, viewfinder piece, lining that all up properly without the shoulders sliding around is a little bit of a pain. And what I found is to not even mess with like trying to look inside here. The way I did it was I brought the feet up with the panels out and then I just looked through these slots until I saw the tabs kind of sliding in there. And once you get those tabs starting to slide and once you get the top of that tab uh, sliding into the slot, you can push it forward. Um, it, it, it is, it's, it's difficult if, if you're not looking at where that tab goes. But like I said, if, if you just kind of guide it in from the top, you can even maybe get like a thin, if you've got like a thin screwdriver or something just to kind of guide it in. Um, I don't recommend it because if you push too hard, you can end up gauging or gouging the uh, the plastic a little bit. But like, like I said, just, just paying attention to, to making sure those slots are lining up through this through the gap here makes it a whole lot easier. And you want to bring these up. And unpeg them here. Yeah, so once you get those up, you can, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. See how now it's only halfway in. Uh, if, if you line, if you do, if you look through that as you line those up and slide them in, it's a lot easier than trying to get under here and, and force them into the, the tabs themselves. So there we go. Bring those down like that. Fold those panels up. And uh, oh, whoops! We forgot to make sure you remove this piece. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And that'll free up the whole waist piece. And unsnap his legs like that. And again, pop the, the feet down. Then bring the arms around. Snap them in place. Fold the wrist down. Uh, rotate his waist around 180 degrees. Fold the wrist down here and rotate the wrists. Extend the arms. Uh, this little piece right here, this little tab, lift this up. This piece should pop out. Let's see if I can use the gun here to pry this piece out. Nope, that's a soft gun. Come on. There we go. This little piece should pop out and then lower it down a little bit. And then you can rotate this whole bring the arms, actually bring the arms out like this. You can rotate this whole piece around like that then close the arms back up. And then you can fold the chest piece down and now you've got the center guy. And this piece just folds up, rotates around and sits on his back like that. And they are, there they are all in robot mode. Now, just a quick size comparison. Uh, here they are with, I brought Masterpiece Prowl because he's, I haven't messed with him in a while and uh, figured I'd bring him in. But so there they are with Masterpiece Prowl. So they're about that that size. They're a little shorter than Prowl, but they're roughly Autobot car sized outside of Bumblebee. Um, they look good with Starscream and uh, had I had more room in my bag of stuff I was bringing in tonight, I would have uh, brought Starscream in as well. It just, I was I was full up tonight. So yeah, um, they each come with they come with three individual weapons. Uh, most of the pictures show the main guy with this gun, but really you can give them any gun you want. They've got a little tab on the back. You just open up the hand, plug it in, close it up. They got a gun, and you can do that for all of them. You can also give one of them the big missile launcher flash if you want. It's got that same type of tab and handle structure. So if you want to give somebody a giant missile launcher, by all means, give somebody a giant missile launcher. It's your toy. Do what you want. Um, so yeah, there's there's the three weapons they each come with. They also come with a little mini reflector. So if you turn into camera mode, larger figures can hold the mini reflector in their hands the way they would on the old cartoon. It's just kind of a neat little accessory. It does have a little peg hole on the bottom, so maybe you could peg that onto something 
uh, if you have a stand or something to support it. Um, they also come with, um, the final thing they come with is individual faces. Now, also, some people were talking about like the shower cap type heads, and it's it looks like they're heads from the cartoon. Uh, it's not something that's really sticking out to me uh, here in hand. But yeah, they all come with a neutral expression on their face. But then you get three replacement faces. Uh, one with kind of an evil smirk on it. And then a couple, like, one that looks a little worried. And one that uh, looks a little sad. And, uh, and swapping them out, you can see there's just a little tab on the back. And it's just real easy to just, any face you want to swap, just get up under here, pop the face out. Grab a new face. Come here, pop it in. And there you go. Now they've got a different expression. So that's all. That's really all there is to it. Um, yeah, it's a fun little set. Um, I love. I love the look of these guys. They look like they stepped out of the cartoon. Uh, the white. Some people were complaining about the white, and it's it's a little brighter than maybe I would have chosen if I were if I were coloring it myself. Um, but it but it actually is kind of a grayish off white. It's not a really bright, vivid white uh, that some people were worried about. So yeah, it's a great little. They're a great little set of guys. Um, solid. Uh, like I said, the, the only real frustrating part, aside from folding that lens back up, which is my fault, uh, you weren't snapped in all the way, um, is that uh, is, is getting those these tabs in into the legs here. And like I said, it's really just a matter of, like, here, here's the back of the leg. And you can see this tab right here is the one that clips over this piece. And then this slot right here is where this tab is supposed to go. And when you fold it up, like I said, if you just look right through there as you're lining it up, as long as the top part, as long as you can see the top corner of this start to come in here, you can push it forward because what, it, like the bottom part, the bottom part will kind of sometimes it'll get it'll get snagged too. But as long as you can see the top part coming in right up here, um, it's it's much easier to guide it by by looking through there than uh, trying to get up inside the leg when you're folding it up and and get it supported. Uh, some people have recommended just popping the shoulder pieces off and. Uh, that would certainly make it a lot easier, um, so you don't have to even deal with those pegs. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Um, I, I just, I'm, I'm just afraid that if you pop these shoulders off too much, you might wear them down, and they might be a little looser than you'd like. But, uh, but it is an option if, if you're just really having trouble getting that tab in. But I think if you look through the top and try to guide it in, that's what worked for me and made it. Uh, yeah, I literally was going like, why are people all upset about this? That seemed pretty easy. So, uh, so yeah. There it is, Make Toys MTRM07, the visualizers, and uh, that one definitely gets a thumbs up. I did not cover articulation. Let's do that real quick. So, uh, I'm starting to export the movie and then realized, wait a minute. So, uh, yeah, so they all have the same basic articulation uh, here in their robot modes. And that's, they got the universal shoulders here. Uh, they got a bicep swivel, uh, dual hinged elbows, both here and here. Uh, they do have a wrist swivel, as you saw during some of the transformation bits. And they do have, like, they're all one, fing one, one piece, but the fingers do open and close here on the hand. They have a waist swivel. They've got uh, universal hips here, uh, as well as a thigh swivel just below the hip there. Uh, dual hinge knees, although what one hinge is mostly uh, is just this little piece right here, but it does hinge down here as well as up there. And then, of course, they've got that... Uh, once you click that, click that out, they've got a ball joint ankle. So they've got a nice swivel there on the ankle, ankle tilt, uh, and you get a pretty decent range of motion uh, forward and back. The way the way these are designed, you know, they're going to hit a little bit with this piece right here, but you can get some decent poses out of that. Um, they're certainly stable enough uh, with that articulation there in the ankle. And then their heads on a ball joint. They can look. Is it a ball joint? I can't tell if it's a ball joint up in there or a universal joint, but it looks like a ball joint. But they can look up and down. They can look side to side. They can tilt back and forth. Um, so yeah, pretty decent range of motion on these guys. Um, sorry, I forgot that during the main part of the review. But uh, yeah, they're quite poseable on top of being pretty decent and pretty cool uh, version of Reflector.